with your storm team weather. Here's Chief Meteorologist Aaron Ayers, sponsored by Big Country Equipment. Well, it was another above normal day temperature wise for us across our area. Plenty of sunshine, too. And then we made it to 79 degrees out at Mathis Field. That ties our old record high for today. More warm days ahead of us. Warmest December on record, very likely for us as we close out the year. Weekend cold front brings cold air to our area as we roll into the first of the new year, likely being, bringing much cooler air for the first week of the new year. Today, we made it to 79. This ties our record of 79 back in 1907. This morning's low of 48. That's above average for morning lows this time of the year out at Mathis Field. A look at where we're sitting right now. We're at 73 degrees, humidity at 49 percent. Winds are on the south at around five miles an hour. Pressure sitting at 29.69 inches and falling under clear conditions. Daytime highs over the next five days going to continue to be above normal into the 70s Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, even on Saturday. But then the story changes as we go into Sunday, the first full week of the new year. That's going to be a change in temperatures for us as we roll into that first week of the new year. Let's talk about December as a whole. Overall, we've had 25 days above normal temperatures. You're seeing a lot of red on this calendar here. Look at many of our days in the 80s here across December 2021. This will make it the warmest December on record here in St. Angelo and take that seven new daily record highs where we either made a new record high or tied a record high. Take that number to eight for today and we'll have eight of those in the month of December of 2021. Clouds and radar right now across uh, for the lower 48. We've got some showers across the Texas Panhandle, some clouds up there as well. Have a smattering of showers across the central southern portion of the United States. And then as we take a look across portions of New England seeing some rain mixing in with some winter weather into portions of Pennsylvania and New York. As we take a look further towards the west, it's snow for the mountains in California, rain in the valleys near San Francisco and Los Angeles. And then in the Four Corners regions, there's a few showers down towards the south and southern portions of Arizona and New Mexico as well. Here across the Lone Star State, we've had those few showers up into the Texas Panhandle, a little bit of cloud cover off to our north. Other than that, things are pretty quiet and that's the way it's going to stay for us until cold air starts to arrive for us as we head into this coming weekend. This line right here, this is the freezing line. It's been a little while since we've been below freezing, but here comes that line dipping south of San Angelo as a cold front pushes through Saturday night into Sunday morning, bringing much cooler temperatures as we roll into the day on Sunday. Our local outlook looks like this. Very dry conditions for us on Tuesday, warming again into the upper 70s. Then by Wednesday, we'll be in those middle 70s with plenty of sunshine. Thursday, more sunshine. Sunshine temperatures in the upper 70s once again. And then on Friday, a little more cloud cover, maybe a few isolated showers Friday night into Saturday morning ahead of this front that's coming towards our area. But I'm not going to keep rain chances very high Friday night. It's going to be a very slim chance for those showers, but mainly cloud cover temperatures in the upper 70s on Friday. Then on Saturday, we clear out temperatures are going to be in the lower 70s. And then on Sunday, look at this. The big change comes for us and temperatures are in the 50s for daytime highs on Saturday, 60s as we roll into the beginning of next week. Tonight, we drop to around 52. Watch out for some patchy areas of AM morning fog. Winds out of the southwest at around 10 miles an hour. And then for our Tuesday, fog will clear out and we'll have a mostly sunny day. Temperatures topping out near 79 with winds out of the southwest, 5 to 10 miles an hour as we go through the next five days. This is what to expect across our area. More sunshine, warmer temperatures through much of this week. A slight chance of an isolated shower Friday night into Saturday morning. Then the new year brings a new cold front and that drops temperatures into the 50s for daytime highs. Stay with us. We've got more KCN News right after this.